Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? Feels a little off, but ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. To do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe. And now you've healed me up, too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kinda hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? Anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. What am I doing? I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. 
maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from the Gaul for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling. My thumbs isn't my style. I'm go. Going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Megal's news to reach. Oh, come on! We're not children! <sighs> How about you make... Oh. Hmm? Hmm... All right. Right. Do you sense one of your friends who... No? Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Migal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway. I think we'll find out more about what Megal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. 
They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That... That depends on Megal. Let's hurry to the quarry. My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait! Stay back, Your Excellency! It's too dangerous! Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Magal? Indeed it is, Lord Dohali. I have heard many a rumor about you. But, I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying... It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. This man is your brother, correct? I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? You'll see. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Quite. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us. As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. 